PP, I want to ask, do you believe yes. Ross Bobriski's behavior has encouraged a lot of homos to come out? And if so, why have they not been arrested? The news says, after thorough examination, it was revealed that there was no evidence of gender or genital organ realignment. Bobriski made biological characteristics remain unchanged. This country, we did not know that there are some laws that actually work. Now, as a whole Bob Brisky, I can't see Naira mutilation. I see which one come in Naira mutilation again. Now, so myself, I rush you. A lot of you are as ignorant as we are. You know, but just the internet, they laugh. But this thing you are laughing about, you will fall victim one day. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Plan B TV News. Yet again, we are in another episode of Bob Brisky and Very Dark Man and the case of ESCC. Bob Brisky have been sentenced to six months imprisonment with no fun. And this has caused a lot of chaos on social media. Why was he arrested? He was arrested for money mutilation. Why was he sentenced to six months? That is yet unknown because they said the case, if he did not plead guilty and he was found guilty, he could be sentenced to six months maximum or a fine of 50,000. But a lot of people are saying maybe he was mushunted or fish out. And this has sparked a reaction on social media. Before I give you what the legal team and other people talks about, I want you guys to see the rejoice and how very dark man reacted to this case. We'll be right back to do some messages to it. Bobriski sentenced to six months in jail without option of fine. Now, I feel really bad. And for those of you that are feeling really bad, there's a good side to all these things. Now, six months from now, we are in April. May, June, July, August, September, October. What happens in October in Nigeria? Independence. What is independence? Freedom. That means Bobriski will be free within Nigeria. Independence. Now, <laughs> uh, watch this video. Of him caressing and touching a man. On social media again i will make sure i'll go to the end of the earth to make that happen i can bet anybody any amount and it will happen in this country number two yesterday as i was about to make a post about bob risky now if in this video i literally said i will go to the end of the earth to make sure that man and man display for social media will stop and i said bet any amount it will happen in this country how did i go to the end of the earth I deliberately started insulting the DIGs to create an awareness because I know that that will create a very big awareness for it. Yes, I did that. I was sent. I go. I go stay for cell for ten days. Ask them. I don't tell them say I won't go out. So. <laughs> I don't tell them say I won't go out. I come social media. Everybody they laugh for comment section. Are they looking? Are they laugh? This is a chat. I said it pop and plain. I'll be arrested and you'll be arrested too. When the EFCC first began, nobody knew. I knew. I knew they had picked him up. Petition was filed. Others were given. Do you understand? Others were given. Moving on, I will bet anybody for this country. They born you here. So all those are James Brown, James Bo James Boogie and the rest. They born you here. You are a man. Stand for year again. They rob on ourselves. Just the way... But Brisky, they don't. When they we start back talk with man, they go, they rob man, they do this one, they do that one, they kiss man, they wear any gun, they do this one. Don't harm it, they burn you away. I won't know your connection. I won't know your connection. Don't Nobody say me on a no knock on herself as a man and a man. Nobody say me you don't do your transgender. Nobody say me you don't do your crest dresser. Do you understand? But when he reach me, you can't carry another man. Can't they display him for our faces? You know one bomb picking. But we were one bomb picking. You won't come spoil him for us. Like I said, a lot of us not be saying to don't get me wrong. Do you understand? But we don't come carry our own badness. Come they rob him for social media so that we we'll make all these small, small children they feel saying are waiting good. If not so our fathers, who tell you say our fathers? Plenty of them know the knack man. Who tell you say our mothers? Plenty of them know the scissors. Do you understand? It don't happen years ago. But they didn't display it for us to see. So that we know go we'll copy. But Una, Una, carry and feel say, okay, yes. Yeah, Una, go do and finish display money on social media. What do you want me the children they think? Do you understand? What do you want me they think? I said one thing the other day. I said, that time what would they grow? Some senior brag would they smoke for our front. 
We will come learn and come go carry paper. We just they we will carry paper for four months. If they catch you in a better slap, they will tell you, I say, you think seventy will they do the good? If you ever try them again, don't warn you. Ah, they you would have put different things on social media and you feel it's okay. Hmm? You feel it's okay. You may not like very dark one. Very dark one does not care. What I feel is right is what I do. I don't do it for the like on anything. When I think say I go spend 10 days inside cell for nothing. Now the sacrifice to pay be that. Do you understand? And now let's watch. If they get to it, I won't see you get to it. Some people say, we'll go and report him to the embassies. That he does not, it is my country's law. That he does not like the LGBTQ. I never said I don't like the LGBTQ. I said the public display is a problem. But then again, it is against my own country law. It is okay in their law. It is against my country law. So nobody in outside country, I said it here, send it to different embassies. Nobody in every other country can tell me how to uphold my country law. This is my Nigerian law that says it's prohibited. Do you understand? That the public display of amorous relationship with man and man is prohibited and you can get sentencing for 10 years. So they have their law. If I go to their country, I respect the law. If a man and a man, no problem. But in my own country, nobody can tell me how to obey my laws. I am a Nigerian, a full-blooded one. If there's a law, I obey it. If you're in Rome, you act like Roman. There's a reason why there's that word. If you're in Rome, you act like Roman. So don't worry, but this will be out with independence. Now, everybody should come. Like I said, if you come for me, you are everything. If I come for you, you are still everything. Don't play. <laughs> <laughs> Now, after Very Dark Man make this particular video, a lot of people have been talking. Like this particular guy tweeted and was saying, you can't just sentence somebody to at least six months without fun or without a parole or, or plea guilty or something that he must face that six months. That means it must be something nice that you arrested him for, maybe out of anger or something like that. But in order to react to this case, Arise TV bring in the former police IG and human rights to talk about this whole case. Oh. What do you think? Why do you think that he was arrested? And why do you think that Bobrisky is not facing the normal sentence he should face, but for money mutilation instead of being a, a man knocking another man or something like that? So I want you guys to watch Arise TV News, how they may break down and the interview, how it all went. We'll be right back to do some messages into it. One thing you need to understand now is that Bobriski has about 5 million followers, like they say, in different social media. And then the last two, three, four, five years, he's been one of the most, one of the most, is it Googled or whatever, sought after personalities in, in, in the country. Now, um, I think, I don't know him, never met, never met him once. I, I think it's just a very, very elaborate marketing structure, you know. That he has put in place, you know, to sell his services, which includes cosmetics and all of that, and then putting that controversial lifestyle out there to gather um, um, attention and mm -hmm. all of that. But that said, you know, um, this this Bobrisky's trial, this Bobrisky's record trial, because mm -hmm. it's a record trial. Mm -hmm. You know, since I've become an adult, I've not seen where police catch somebody. You get from the day the catch the person to conviction is seventy two hours. So do you believe it's a smoke screen? For the real reason why no, no, you no, might no, have... I don't want to go there. Okay. I don't I don't want to go there. I just think that this Bobriski's issue has thrown up a very strong need you get for reforms in certain sectors. Okay. That's thrown a strong need for reforms in criminal justice system. Mm -hmm. There's a strong need for reforms in in in, in, in judicial um, 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 procuring judgments. You get and that is why in advanced countries you have the jury system. Mm -hmm. You get now, so we are seeing a judge who has gone for the maximum in a case where the man has has, has pleaded guilty and even caught a plea deal. Mm -hmm. Arguments are divided in this in this um, in this. Way. But for me, if there's a jury system, there will be some level of checks and balances. You get mm -hmm. now it's also thrown up. You get me now. Very importantly. The need for prison rights, prisoners' rights, yeah. prison reforms. I'm very happy that the prisoners, if the authorities have said, oh, we are going to protect him. Okay. I will just hope they do that. Do you get me now? I'm, I'm, I'm going to ask you that know? question because and then, that's very pressing. Then, very importantly, you get, we cannot continue to play the ostrich game with the increasing rampantness of same sex relationships. Mm -hmm. You get, does this present law address it? That's question we need to ask ourselves and very seriously. Okay.
Every society, modern society must have laws, have laws. And those laws are meant to regulate the conduct and behavior of its members for the good of society. Like the 2007 Central Bank of Nigerian Act prohibits the issue of uh, spring of dollars, sorry, spring of Naira, marching on Naira, and even dance on, on, on Naira, even, even hawking of Naira. These are all offenses. For the fact that people don't know that this offense exists, it doesn't make it not to be an offense. You see, again, the, the jurisprudential value of law is predicated on, on its enforcement. All along, our security agencies have been throwing their eyes out of this crime. Now that the EFC has force, I think it's a very good development. And I think I also want to say that all security agencies should ensure that these laws um, for, um, are enforced. This law is enforced. Because laws, like I said, if you don't enforce, it's of no value to man and society. And people do what they like. And like what we, our dollar, our nana has been abused in various ways, social, social, social occasions, that marriages and so forth. And this one should, be, should not be allowed. There are laws. And like I said, they said ignorance of the law is, is, not, is no excuse. That he said he didn't know this law exists. But then what lesson have we learned from that is statement? The lesson is that the CBN should also carry out a public enlightenment of this, of, of this crime. It, it exists. Anybody found guilty of this act is it's li it's, it's culpable and liable. So I think I'm happy that the, the EOCC has, has set the space by ensuring that this, 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 this is done. It's not, 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 it's not a small screen or nothing personal against, against him, but the point is that an, an offense was committed. And the EOCC were up to respond to their, to their obligation to arrest any more kind of offense within their view or to okay. their knowledge. So I think all civil agencies to ensure that this law, when laws are promulgated or laws are passed, they should ensure they can carry out this law. But because when they, when they turn their face out of these laws, when they don't enforce these laws, then it becomes a problem. Like he said, you didn't know that this law exists. So that public enlightenment, our regional orientation agency, she carry out some of this and let him and people to know because you need to know principle. Like now he's claiming he doesn't know, he doesn't want an excuse. So the society has a duty, therefore, to educate the citizens on what is an offense or what is acceptable, not acceptable, and this is what should be done. Okay. Because so when these laws are there and people don't know about them, they break them unknowingly. Okay. So I think the society also has a duty, society has a, has a, has a role to perform. CP, I want to ask. Do you believe yes. Ross Bobriski's behavior has encouraged a lot of homosexuals to come out? And if so, why have they not been arrested if they have broken the law of same-sex relationships? Or is it that the Nigerian police is afraid of the global backlash from such actions because human rights groups and the United Nations officials have expressed grave concern about the scope of the law, like Duke of Shemulu just said, its vague provisions and the severity of punishment? You see, you see, same sex law, same sex is, is an offense against our laws, our criminal code and pen, criminal code and penal code. And it's not allowed. Homosexuality and so forth, lesbianism is not allowed in our laws. And if it's not allowed, it is not left for left for law, law, the security agencies to law enforcement agencies to enforce these laws. Because when they don't enforce it, it become as if it is a norm. It's not, it's not acceptable. Uh, uh, behavior or conduct, which is not allowed, what the law provides. So I think it's because our security agencies have not been up and doing it, enforcing these laws. And then the society also should be made moral, more, these moral values. You know, see, the, what is doing, this is, uh, the point is that Africans, Nigeria in particular, we have moral values. And you say society that's not moral values is doomed. Our moral values should be protected. I can't, can't you imagine somebody saying you want to be a, a, transformed to a, a man, to a woman? How does that do? Are you the creator? You didn't create yourself. You didn't create yourself. God, the creator, knows why he created you as a man or, or a woman. So, therefore, I don't think it is morally right. We shouldn't allow globalization or modernization to, to come and bastardize our moral values. Okay. So, can, it is because the law and agencies have, been, have not been up and doing. So this one is a wake-up call to all of the agencies that our laws should be enforced if we really want sanity in our society. Okay. But um, some would argue this laws, that... This laws, this, this laws, this... Okay, sorry. Are, are, are you done? Yes, go on. 
I said some would argue that the no, no, law... I'm saying that... Okay. Uh, we are across, across wires here. So let me let yes, you finish. I, I'm listening. Okay. I'm, I'm, okay no, what, yeah. I'm saying, the, what I'm saying is that the security agency should be up and doing about this and these laws. It, because it, they, they, they don't have, these laws seem to be... The laws are there. I mean, laws are there. The laws have no, of no value that I said earlier if they're not enforced. It's okay. only when the law is enforced, it becomes a, a, it a, a, the potential value on the society and, the, and man. Okay. So this society, security agency should now wake up to, 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 their, to their duties. Okay, you know, because human rights groups are very particular about this and they've expressed their grave concerns over the violence LGBT, LGBTQ people suffer. Some would argue that the, SM, M, the SSMPA has contributed significantly to a climate of impunity for crimes commi committed against LGBT and has created opportunities for people to act out their homophobia with brutality and without fear of legal consequences which goes against the basic, basic tenets of the Nigerian constitution, including respect for dignity, dignity and prohibition of torture. The victims, for instance, say the law inhib inhibits them from reporting to authorities due to fear of exposure and arrest. So my question now, sir, is how can Nigerian authorities protect and stop all forms of abuse and violence against LGBT people? Because they are humans like the rest of us. How can they be They are humans. Like yes. I said earlier, every, hum every, every human society has laws and values. Mm. If these laws are there, they are, these laws are meant to be obeyed. Why did God punish, punish Adam and Eve and, 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 and bless Abraham? Because Abraham obeyed the law. And, and Adam and Eve disobeyed the law. Laws are meant to be obeyed for the good of society. And if these things, you see, we talk about human, my right, human right, human right. What are, what, are, what, are the, what are the obligations of the citizens? The citizens have also have obligations. When they say, when they say right, there's corresponding obligation on the part of the citizens. But we seem to emphasize on our rights and, and, and downplaying on our obligations as citizens for the good of society. Is it my right to do what they are doing? The society accept it? So these are things we need to know to educate everyone here because it's imparting negatively on our young, our young generation. They see that as, as an accepted, accepted norm. Okay. Sometimes when you see young men wearing torn jeans in the name of fashion, which is, that is not acceptable at all. Can you start wearing a torn dress like a madman in the name of fashion? These are moral values we should try to protect and defend our moral values. Because I said, in society without moral value, a family without moral value is doomed. And okay. our parents, parent, parenting has become, has been thrown to the overboard. Parents don't take, don't ever sit down to parent to counsel their children and guide them to the moral values of the of society or value of, 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 okay. of, of, of the family. So I think the government should carry out this public enlightenment education on our moral values. That is how we can have our dignity. When our moral values are, of, are, 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 are bastardized and destroyed, then we are, we are doomed. Now, personally, my own personal observation is that, okay, Bob Risky was arrested. I personally was like, yeah, yeah. Why? Don't get me wrong. I do not hate him for him being Bob Risky. But my whole opinion is about him being bragging on social media. For this Lagos! Just like this. Nothing! For this Lagos every day. Nothing go happen. The confidence of him saying that nobody can arrest him in Lagos actually makes me to say, okay, when he was arrested, I said, yes, let's see the influence that he has. Though, we never expected it to be like this, like the outcome to be on six months. It is what it is. If he was arrested, a good concrete reason, like being a cross aggressive dresser or a bad influence to the society or being a man knocking another man, you know, something like that, or being a trans or, you know, something like that. I could have said six months wasn't enough. The actual sentence supposed to be 14 years imprisonment according to the law. But since the Nigerian police and DIG and all of that decide to fold hands, they know the actual thing, they refuse to do it. And the Senate attorney blood eyes, maybe, maybe like what very dark man said was true. They have something in common that they're not telling Nigerian. Since they could not pin him down, for those who really don't like what he, she or him is doing on social media, was annoying. Our influence becomes so strong, we were even thinking, is it like people from the federal are involved in this case? 
that okay, but Brisky is untouchable and he's doing everything. You know, going even with security agency, police officer will benefit from for him because whenever he's going, they give him escorts, you know, guarding him and all of that. He becomes so strong in the society and breaks every laws and protocols and policies of Nigeria. Nigeria police could not arrest. Maybe that another set of people will ask, okay, let's do it this way. Money motivation was not actually the reason. I personally thought they arrested Bobrisky. They just wanted to arrest. Since the police is not doing the needful, the SSC have to come in with another grand style and they pin him down and they arrested him. Remember, Bobrisky of all people that have been saying, Mommy of Lagos, ah, hey, oh, me. I'm a female. I do this. I would have also put some videos whereby he was saying it, but unfortunately, he was not putting on anything. He only just had to cover a uh, baby like this. He was just saying, I'm a female, ah, uh, with evidence like this. And I'm... at the end of the day, facing court with the judge, but briskly denied. When I read the story on Punch News, denied being a female. Hey, I'll be mano. I'll be mano. That was the reason he even faced six months. He could have also faced five years. He said, I'll be mao. I know the woman. No, I'll be mao. No. Ne nera, nera mutilation. Mutilation in the check bola. You the follow me, play at me. <laughs> Are you whining me? You will learn. When I enter, everybody in the lab. Very dark, man. Let him stay there. Let him stay there. Not your dukaku uwaku. For this Abuja, you will learn. See, the only way where you escape me for this internet now if you know they do bad thing if there's no skeleton in your cupboard you win but one skeleton day if you know say you do bad there's no points coming online to go and they follow me rick i have that time <laughs> i have the time and i can do the sacrifice you go lose i go lose you know pass like that <laughs> i said i won't see the connection all the people all the connection where you say you get i know see I'm. No being say go throw portable for jail. Say go do this side, go do that one, go make portable disappear. No, you don't the brotherhood is winning. I say I dead the next person. Post with man, rob man, post them. Uncle Tuma Boro. And the news says after thorough examination, it was revealed that there was no evidence of gender or genital organ realignment, but brisky male biological characteristics remain unchanged. So now, man, it is this guys. They use I am a woman. That shows you how this world don't is scatter. So now, all a man need to do to say he's a woman is by just saying, I identify as a woman. You understand? And it's so quite unfortunate that a lot of women were supporting him. Now, now, the pity pass. Because um, you people will soon start being victims. A lot of you women around the world. Because there are some things you people are supposed to fight against. But because I don't know what is going on in your head, I know that they support all those things. So you understand, very soon now, very soon, a man go go enter his house in a bathroom. Now, no, get privacy. Like I said, now those are me at the even pity pass. Where no, nobody fits see their hair apart from their husband. You go go meet man for bathroom. The man go tell you, say, he identify as a man. He identify as a woman. And he go use your bathroom. And the law cannot do anything about it. So you see, say, one lawyer gone. Anyways, this story is from another day. Now but now, as a man, we get Bobby. And is and they are taking him to a May prison now. He's going to May Correctional Center. Though the judge and the police have to agree that they will provide him the maximum protection while in the correctional center. But will they also provide the rest inmates maximum protection? Because it's, it seems to be like only Bobrisky deserves protection while in the correctional center now. So if could have just like okay, I be man, let us go and face it. Or I be woman, they go and put him during woman. But he denied. Why? Because he pleaded guilty, he denied being a female in none of this. This is how the story ends. Anyway, I never wanted to talk about it since I've already done episode about how he was arrested, how very dark man was arrested, how they relieved very dark man about the money motivation. They were arrested, but brisky first. Okay, let me just give you guys the final judgment so that you understand how the case ended all right since this most time injuries okunenye remain in prison i'm not saying custody in prison for those of you that are rejoicing with us yeah justice at last yeah nobody's above the law yeah Woo -ho! for all the cross dresser who have learned a lesson in hard way now you guys just remain sober within your door and say so Solidarity forever.
Solidarity forever. Solidarity forever. You can never, never fight for your right. Not in Nigeria. Dare you, like one very dark man said, I dare you all to come out. You know, James Brown, on the other hand, you see him holding man. You know, they are just, I know they are using it to chase class, but now they are daring you guys. Dare you to try it more and more time. In case you have not watched, I want you guys to watch what very dark man said about this particular famous cross dresser in Abuja. They are not just cross dressers, they are actually doing the mating. I want you guys to watch the video. Who we'll be right back? I'm the number one Ashawo cross dresser. I started practicing gay lifestyle when I was 10 years, 11 years at Guagua. I don't do girls, I only do guys. And only men, they knock me. I'm not the knock woman. In the time we decide to get customer where we I they meet 10 people before they break. My yeah. body go tell me, oh, my body go yeah. Oh, mama. If I reach out, they go sit down for Tota. Thinking if I did not retire for a shower work this year, like maybe I never see the time I will go come into my life, come marry me, make a retire for a shower work. So I'm thinking to go and do surgery and make do my all those things. Time when they carry me like that, open. Now, if you watch that video, yeah, the guy says something for the starting. He says start with a knack man at the age of ten. Obviously. Obviously, they take advantage of them, where affect them, where make himself start to see himself in that light. You understand? So, if truly start at the age of 10, I no go blame him. Because we watch Pobriski from being a man, he turn woman for our eye like this, he do breast, he do nyash, they wear wig, they go party, they do everything, nobody arrest them. And you know why nobody arrest them? Because the lawmakers, plenty of them, they do come. Do you understand? Yes! Plenty of them, they do come. Arrest them. She's been 14 years. I dare anybody because Bobriski they can't talk and say, ah, hey, hey, carry man, man, carry and a man, they spend for a life. I dare Nigerian government if you no go cast. We they come through every say they say, okay, now 14 years, but Bobriski they fly. And secondly, the people in the comment section where they do, ew, ew, ew. These same people, they go James Brown comment, they go laugh. James Brown is so cute, it's funny. We like Princess of Africa. Nigeria, one thing people like to do is when we not see the person on a like, they execute a certain character. When I no go talk because I like the person, then when a new person where they execute the same character come, when I the support, when I go say ill to the other person. Most of these actors, when I they stand for their body, they they do and they, they give them a sign. When I know they talk, plenty of them are hip hop now. They are saying they arrest them. Why they go arrest them? When I be enable us, especially the women. Nobody enable the the, the 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 gay people for this country past women. People are the biggest enablers. Later on, of course, eh, men know they for not to marry. Now, now they enable them. My only problem with this thing is that they for not even let them come. Eh, they for not give the, the thing a platform. And you hear what they talk. If you go watch the full interview, all waiting that boy have been a man, they talk. Not be lie. Plenty of these people on that comment section where they say all these boys now ill. Ah, 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 ah. Plenty of them, they run out. For Lagos. For Lagos. My mom be saying, me the first start with Bob Risky. Better try now. Down to plenty of them for the north. Down to plenty of them for the east. Down to plenty of them for the west and the south. Now, if you go, if you go Calabar like this, the last time I go a quiet bomb, I surprise. When I enter a quiet bomb, I surprise, guy. Almost all the boys for the events when I go, almost all. Oh my God, I mean, yeah. it's there everywhere. When I know they deceive when I say for Nigeria, plenty of people they run them. You understand? Plenty of people they run them. Plenty of people they run them. Once they don't chuck, the only thing we say, is they don't chuck out for your nyash like this or more, you don't go, you know they come back. So this boy, Mona to the be popo. Like I said, my only problem is say, they go give the team platform for them to express. So from there, all these young people now, they feel they deceive them, come they make them feel as if okay, they okay to run them. That's just my problem with the podcast. Nothing more. When I get out. All right. This is where we're going to be ending the video. We don't have much to say about it anymore. So the story you just watched, that one I've passed before. So I just wanted to have it here so that you understand how these people hide in the canopy of cross-dresser. Some people are saying they're just doing it so that they could sell their product, makeup, and none of that. No, they are not doing it for makeup. They are actually doing the mating. But Briscoe will not tell me that he's doing it for makeup to promote his goods, and they went to go and do surgery to pump up. Hey! No, that will not be to sell product again. It's actually selling the body. So, 
what do you guys think i want to hear from you in the comment section team very dark man comment justice at last in the comment section team bob risky say solidarity in the comment section solidarity comment it all right thank you guys for watching this video to the very end we love you guys remember god love you more if you love us the only way you can show it is to comment your thought in the comment section like this video share this video to all your platform and above it all please subscribe if you do turn on your notification bell if you subscribe guys just keep it counting until it gets to a hundred thousand i love you guys it is only you can make it happen my own is to make video your own is to share like comment and subscribe thank you i've seen your amazing like i've seen your love support and everything you are doing on our platform thank you everybody we love you until we meet again stay tuned plan b tv peace out this country we did not know that there are some laws that actually work now as a whole but briskly i can't see naira mutilation i see which one can be naira mutilation again now so myself i rush you a lot of you are as ignorant as we are you know but just the internet they laugh but this thing you are laughing about you will fall victim one day so one thing is when things happen learn instead of laugh I didn't, many of you don't know what naira mutilation is. You are just laughing, but risky. You will now go and fall victim. EFCC self will carry you. But the difference is that when EFCC carry you, we will not hear it because you are not popular like Bob Risky. But many of you will be victims of the same things that you laughed about because you did not pay attention. Immediately I saw Bob Risky was, I didn't even know. People started tagging me, your brotherhood. I now went, I said, um, naira mutilation, what's in be that one? I rushed, go Google. Some of you know they read. Some of Nago Rush go comment. Many people in the comment section don't know what Naira mutilation is. They are ignorant. They are not they comment, they laugh. Drop me here, Okada. You will go now. Once you just make small money, your friend, they do wedding, you go spray, they go carry you. You go begin shout oppression. It's the same thing they held Bob Risky for. And he pleaded guilty. And he will pay a fine. Either you plead um, six months in pre they take you six months if you're not remorseful. Because Bob Risky did not really... You know, the last lady that went to prison that people are commenting that, oh, she matched Naira. She played with Naira. But Bob Risky, the video we saw, Bob Risky know they throw bondu, say. Bob Risky go just the way you did, they spray him. Or Bob Risky go they drop him in bondu. So his case might even be forgiven because he did not really, you know, misuse Naira. All these Yahoo boys where they fling Naira for air. So, yes, it's okay for um, EFCC to forgive him and collect the fine of 50000 that's fine. Uh -huh, but because he did not actually. Yes, he broke the law. But you go see, say, Bob Risky no abuse money the way, way Yahoo boys say they abuse money for club. Yahoo boys go to work out for road, they spray money from car. It's they even make me vex. People go to fight for Naira, they wound their self because of you go go all these clubs, they go to throw money, everybody go to fight. Slay queens go come out with the drag. Those now those ones supposed to go to jail. Bob Risky from the video I saw, Bob Risky respected the Naira. At least Bob Risky they spray him home for one place. If Bob Risky won't spray him, when Bob Risky will come out with bundle. So I feel and I'm hoping that the judges will forgive him. At least we're even pleading guilty and accept him. Bob Risky no fling cash. If now these Yahoo boys where they throw cash, you go go six months, go sleep for there. Those are people, even when they do it, sometimes I'm angry because I'm like, why are you stressing people now? If you want to share five k. Because when you throw this money, I've seen people like injure themselves in the marketplace where somebody threw two two hundred naira. That money no go past fifty k. He threw it on the road and every, all the markets scatter. Fifty k now you won't make even old women. Some people even lost their goods when they were struggling to pick maybe four hundred naira or three hundred naira. Some money we even tear. That is what me I even call the. That's what I understand by that naira mutilation. Now those kind of people are supposed to go for neck, drag for chain, they go because naira you no go see you go even enjoy, enjoy yourself. You will now cause. Hold up, now cause chaos, now cause accidents. I don't know if you're understanding my point.